Okay, so today I'm going to show you the quickest and the easiest way to make your hair softer. And it practically cheap too. And yes, this is the known main secret in some of these hair uh, shampoos, okay? And although they don't talk about it, they don't tell you about it, but that's the main secret in softening your hair. And it's the quickest and the easiest way to do it, okay? Two things. You, if you have, like in, if your house, and if it's in your house, and they already have the water softener, okay? Sorry, I have to sneak by a little bit here. Camera's a little shaky there. Um, for instance, I'm going to show you really quick. Right here. These Mortons. Clean and protect. And then if you read down a little further, you see soft of feeling skin and hair. Okay? I just did a uh, video recently about um, uh, dishwashing soap. So I figured, wait a minute, why don't I just do it with the, with the shampoo? So I just made it, now it's a different separate video. But it's pretty much the same thing. Um, you can do that to, um, you can add this to your dish soap and it will soften your hand. And it's like I said in the other video, if I don't, I'll link it to here. Uh, it's the same thing as putting vinegar into, like I said, I found, I don't know what it is, but I put vinegar in liquid soap and it softened my hand. Anyway, um, sorry, this video is about the shampoo though. Uh, but it's the same concept. That's why I brought that up. Um, you would need about um, about few percent, okay? You would need, you have to experiment on your own. Not experiment, test it out on your own, okay? Because when you add salt into this, when you add salt into this, it actually... Let me turn that on. It'll be easier. I see shadows there. Um, when you add... Um, when you add salt into this... Okay? It actually... Um, thin the shampoo or whatever out. Um... The trick is, is because different manufacturers add different things in. And if you don't mind, like, a little runny, but you get better, um, better hair, soften the hair, then go for it, okay? And then add a little extra in, if you don't mind the runny. Some people like it really, really thick. And I made this with just salt, and it's really thick already. Okay? It's really thick. You can see it's barely flowing. See, I have made that. It wasn't that thick. But I add salt into that and it makes it thick. You see that? So that's what I did to that one. I add extra salt into that so by, that way my hair will become softer. And also too, your skin will be softer. Just like what it says on that label over there. And uh, yes, it's true. And I got these. I show that as an example. That's what they look like. They're salt pellets. But you don't have to. You don't have to. You can use sea salt. But most of the time sea salt is more expensive than these salt right here. These salt pellets. They call them. So you, if you have water softener in your house. That's why they have water softener in the house. If you, don't, if you have that water softener in your house. And you don't want. And, uh, you don't really have to do this. If you have water softener. But if you live in the cities and all the other places that is really hard, hard water, you will need to do something like this here. And the best way to, to soften hair is to put, I put two to one ratio, okay? That means um, in this calculation is two to one, that's three total, 
okay? So that's 33, 33, and 33 equal 2 slash 1, 2 colon 1. Now, what that means is that 1%, I mean 33, 1 part of water and 2 part of salt. So I put bunch of in, I put a cup and I put bunch of in until it's all melted down like this right here. Then you will get a spoon and you add in little by little. It's about 2%. I mean, an, an average, it's about 1 to 2%. Like I stated, if you don't mind the consistency, let's say... If you don't mind the consistency of runny, because some people don't like it really runny, but here's the thing. You're doing this for your hair, so it's going to be a little runny. It won't affect the laddering, okay? Just remember that. All you have to do is put as much as you want in, to be honest, but like I said, 2 to 4% most, but we don't want it to be runny either. So let's say if I put one teaspoon in, it's going to change the consistency in here. Watch in a minute, okay? Because I already did it already, already, okay? But now I'm adding extra in, extra salt in there. Actually, this has become even more now. Look, it's even more gooey. Ooh, I thought it's going to go runny. I must have put extra. I didn't put enough in there then. I. I guess I didn't put enough in there. But now it's more runny, you see. I mean, not runny. It's even more thicker. Look. You see? It becomes like a gel-like. So it's actually, I have to put more in there. But anyway, I thought I put enough. But hey, I'm going to put more next time. So I put one teaspoon of this right here. Of this part. So let's say if I put another one in. We're going to be in a testing mode now, okay? But remember, it is all up to you. One teaspoon. Let's see. It might be runny now because it's too much. See, now it is. See it? Yep, it is. Somehow, like I stated in uh, my other video, and I'll, I'll state it in this video too, when you put in too much, it becomes runny. But even when it's runny, don't worry, okay? Do not worry. Because you need that salt if you live in the city and you live somewhere that does not have enough salt or soft water softener, then you will need to do something like this. But if you have water softener in your house, there's no need for you to do this. You will get soft hair with your water softener because that's what that is. Water softener is actually salt. Okay? So if you live somewhere and you want your hair to be soft, and yes, you can put this in your shamp uh, your, your, your conditioner as well. You can do this in your hair conditioner. I want to mix that in afterwards so it will become thicker. But it's already thick already with this one right here that I made. And you saw I put one teaspoon it becomes really thick. I can probably um, do that again just to show to you. Let's say if I pump into here. So what you do is you see how thick that is? What you do is you test this out first, okay? Get a small container and see what your viscosity. The word is viscosity. See what you like, okay? That's the that's that's the rule to this, okay? See what you like. Like right now, see how runny this is? It's really nice though. I still like it regardless. If it's going to make my hair. I live in the city. So I don't have water softener in my water. Comparing to this look. But watch when I put just one little teaspoon into this. Let me shake this up. Just one little one okay. Now watch. Look at that. It become a gooey. Now it becomes really gooey. And that's what I talk about in my other video. If you buy, if you buy um, cheap, 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 like uh, uh, soap, like dishwash soap and stuff, you can actually make it into a gel form. I did that for my other video and I still have the jar somewhere. I should show that. But anyway, so... Now look how, look at that, 
It comes a glob now. See that? It falls in globs. See? Comparing to this, it's all really runny now. But test it. Runny does not matter. Okay? Please remember that. That runny does not matter. It's soft in your hand. That's what matters. Okay? So, don't be fooled by saying, Oh, I made it too much or whatever. The more the better. But the, the, the problem is that some people don't like this runny. Do you know what I mean? So, it's going to be up to you. But like I said, test this in the small thing first. Always test in the small thing first. You know, like this much, I put only a little bit of, like, a little teaspoon into here. And it made it, like, look how thick it is. You know, even though I just left it here, look, it don't even want to run. Look at that. You see that? See? It doesn't even want to fall. Because it's so thick. But the secret into this is just sea salt. Okay, so literally, I have already put some in there already, but I put a little bit extra, so we probably need a little bit extra there. So I can literally add a little bit extra more, but I don't really mind because I think I have enough in there already, and it's really jelly already. See how jelly that is? So I added a little bit extra at a time so I can know. So remember, remember when you buy your shampoo, just test it. Just test little by little by little. And then you know the ratio. Remember that word? Ratio. Then you will know how much to put them all in here. Like for instance, for this one right here, I put A, like right here. This is the, I got this from the dollar store, but it actually works really good. Um, the, the hydrating shampoo. The only thing I have on here is I actually put um, uh, acne medicine in here. And if you want to see that video, I'll link it to here because I have to put acne medicine on here. Uh, that's why it has an A on it, okay? It's for acne. And I have regular and I have the acne one because my my head, uh, there's three ingredients. Oh, mention about, talk about this. There's three ingredients in there that a lot of people are allergic to and that's what it gives them acne. So watch the video up here too, okay? I'll link that one up here too and you will find out what causes your acne on your head. So what you do is you go to the store and you figure out that ingredients, the three ingredients I mentioned in the video up here and you would avoid that. But this is for, remember this is for softener. So this is the easiest way, let's get back to this thing. The easiest way to soften your hair is to add softener which is salt, or you can use sea salt, okay? Like right here, I have two sea salt thing right here, which I have not eaten no more, because I found out that sea salt gave me, uh, I became iodine deficiency, so now I start using sea salt for, for, for softening things. And yes, if you just remember, oh, that's another good thing too. You can see that video up here. I'll tie that another video up here about iodine deficiency. Um, uh, even my dog have it. Oh boy, it, 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 those two was a journey. So now I just use those for my shampoo and stuff, so I don't eat it. Uh, I stop eating those, I eat the iodized salt. But anyway, so all you have to do is just get the salt pellets and add in little by little so you know. Let's say once you know your favorite shampoo, then you know how much to add in it. Understand? So let's say this is 33 ounce. And let's say if it calls for one ounce or even half an ounce, then you know every time you buy this, you have to add half an ounce of salt in. Do you know what I mean? To soften your hair. But like I said, it has to be the consistency that you like because this is kind of runny now. It is kind of nice, but it's runny now. It was really gunky. Like this right here, it's still gunky. Look at that. It's like a jello now. Okay? Look at that. It moves like jello. You see that? Because it's so thick. It's like a little. Uh, how'd you say that? Um, jello, not jello, but uh, yogurt. That's what it looks like. See, look at that. I can even grab some of it. It's like yogurt, like glue. 
Now, this one is really nice and smooth. I kind of like this one more. It has actually more sea, sea salt in there or softener in there. But that will be up to you, okay? Please remember that. It will be up to you. But I, like I stated, get a little container like these or a little tiny container. And all you have to do is just test it. Each thing's at a time. And then, let's say, get like a, a cup and put six ounces in there. Or even eight ounces, one cup. Okay? Put the whole cup for eight ounces. And put it in. Okay? And then... And then... Put in as... As... As 16. Or whatever you're, you're doing, the 8 ounces. Let's say you're doing... Oh, sorry, my hand's not in there. So let's say if you're doing a 1 cup equal 8 ounces. Now... Let's say... You need two, two tablespoons. So then you would just have to figure out what your shampoo ratio is, and and according and calculate that according to the table, teaspoon. So let's say if I have eight ounces of whatever the shampoo I buy, and it and I like it at two, two teaspoon. This is I think this is a teaspoon. Let's say if I like a two teaspoon. That means. I would have to put two teaspoons per cup or eight ounces. Get it? So that's what would be the ratio is. So play around with this right here. Like I said, get a cup. Pour that in. Whatever the shampoo that you have, pour that in. Find your consistency. And then do as you like it. But remember, this stays the same no matter what you do, okay? Two to one ratio, one part of water, two parts of uh, salt. This does not change, okay? Please remember the ratio of salt and water does not change. Only these will change. These will change because these will be the one that you like. So do it, do it as you like. But regardless, believe it or not, little as salt in here, we don't want too much anyway. Little as salt in here, it will soften the hair. Because if you live in the city or you live somewhere that does not have, let's say your house does not have water softener, you will need it. But there are, they sell, they, out, they actually sell cartridges of water softener and people put those in and soften their hair. But here's the thing, it's the same thing. It's just a small amount added to the water so it can soften your hair. So... Don't buy those stuff. People are going to hate me for this video because I'm showing them the the real way to save money. Not only to save money, but it's easier too. And you and yes, it is a saving. This is a saving money video. So you save a lot of money. You don't have to put literally you if you like just soft and hair, you don't have to put a whole system in your in your house just to get your soft and hair. All you have to do is just mix it in and just mix a little bit of these. And mix a little bit of that in your water. I mix a lot here because I'm actually throwing this out in the... <laughs> we have snow right now. So I'm actually melting this down so I can melt the snow. Yeah. My sidewalk and stuff. I melt it with these right here. I I'm going to make a separate video on that. But anyway. I hope that this, is this video is helpful to you. And I hope this is all worth it to you. So if you like softy, silky hair, that's the secret, okay? There's nothing to it. Don't put this oil, put oil this, oil that, oil this, oil that in there. No. All you need is actually sea salt or salt pellets, which these, what these are, salt pellets or sodium chloride. That's why a lot of people like swimming in the ocean. And I stated in my other videos, Swimming in the ocean is actually good for you. The only thing that is not good for you is the chlorine. 
Remember that word. Chlorine is not good for you, but the salt is actually good for you, for your body and for your skin. That's why a lot of people like to swim in the ocean. So now it kind of makes sense now, but the only thing, like I said, is bad in the ocean is chlorine. Um, so anyway, I hope that this video was helpful to you. And if you want to give it a try, just do S in stages, okay? So that way you know how you like it, blah, 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 and do a small batch. Test it out. Test it out in your in your in, on your hand and your hair first, and then once you like it, once you if you think you need more, add more, blah 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 blah. Okay. Other than that, that's about it on this video, and I will see you in the next video. Okay.